I have it on good authority that when Pete Venkman has a hankering for Tetris, he loads this up instead. Now, never mind who that authority is, or given the subject matter was, what's important is that Ghost Mania mixes professional paranormal investigation and elimination with falling block puzzle games. Only in this case, Bustin doesn't feel quite as good. What started its life on the iPhone with the name Spooky Spirits Puzzle Drop has been resurrected and renamed on WiiWare as Ghost Mania. Obviously, the new name doesn't exactly capture the spirit of what the game's about, so to speak, and unfortunately, the upgrades it's made in the move to WiiWare can't change the game's epitaph. Ghost Mania is more like Ghost Mania. Eh. You can play Ghost Mania with a single Wii remote held sideways or with the console's classic controller. Either way, the gameplay is the same. Colored blocks fall from the top of the screen, and it's your job to group colors together and make them disappear with special ghost blocks. You can swap and rotate between which blocks fall, but your moves are restricted by a timer. Take too long, and they'll fall automatically. Allow the board to fill up with blocks, and you're doomed to puzzle failure. Now, the premise sounds interesting, and in theory, it is. The problem is with the execution. There's an overwhelming sense of randomness to this game, and while that could be said of most puzzle games to a degree, it feels a bit unfair in Ghost Mania. The game sometimes gives you an abundance of, say, pink blocks, for example, only to withhold the necessary pink ghost block. Again, used to an extent, that could be considered a strategic element, but in Ghost Mania, the implementation just feels unbalanced, and it can make the game very frustrating. Oddly enough, the supplemental puzzle mode is actually more interesting than Ghost Mania's main arcade mode. In these genuinely challenging puzzles, you have a limited number of drops with which to clear the board. It takes some serious puzzle-solving acumen to figure some of these out, and without the drawback of the arcade mode's random block generator, puzzle mode stands out as perhaps the highlight of the package. In the move to WiiWare, Ghost Mania received both a presentation makeover and a nice multiplayer mode. Unfortunately, the multiplayer mode is held back by that same feeling of randomness, but given the format, the game's presentation is fantastic. The backgrounds look good, the colors are bright, there's a fun Halloween aesthetic to Ghost Mania, and the game's graphics and sound do a fine job of conveying that. Now, this isn't a bad game by any means, it's just a bit underwhelming. Despite its sharp presentation and few interesting ideas, a fundamental gameplay flaw keeps Ghost Mania trapped six feet under. <laughs> 